My name is Jordana Stanford and I'm studying medicine at the University of Queensland. Um, my full name is Brenna Jade Oliveira Bernardino. I am studying a Master of Public Health at the University of Queensland. My name is Cassia Bray and I'm studying psychology at the University of Queensland. So far the conference has highlighted and reinforced the importance of translating research to community and I think it's a lot of the time um, at university the onus is on reading the research and knowing it and then referencing it but there's nothing about taking that back anywhere so I hope that in the future when I work and possibly do research that I um, take the values that a lot of people have here and do that. Uh, I get a lot of inspiration from being at these conferences um, because a lot of people here are doing such great work so it's great to see that this is a space where I could definitely um, pursue something um, and, and get something out of it. I'm just amazed to see how incredibly professional it is and just the wisdom and insight from all the professionals here today has just been fantastic. Um, so yesterday I went to the Courageous Conversations talk and I found that that was really empowering to hear about everybody's um, similar and different experiences being an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person in the realm of research and health um, and then they had some strategies and tips for people in the room as well as how to move forward and where they see um, this space moving to. I just went to a session on strong mothers, strong families and um, it was really great to see a lot of strong women especially um, have a call to action um, for people to join the um, uh, Birthing on Country initiative which um, encourages um, young Abrig or Aboriginal women to have their babies on their country. Um, so it's really great to see a lot of activism, um, which is something I'm really passionate about. I went to the session on um, drugs and alcohol consumption in Indigenous people and I I guess I kind of have, coming from a rural background and a rural community, I guess I have a personal interest in that. And so actually hearing about the research that's being done on that from, um, yeah, from researchers and people with PhDs, that kind of thing, it was really interesting to gain like a professional insight into something that I have a lot of personal insight into. As a part of any training program you have to do research um, but because I always and um, because I want to work in community and with community I think that this opportunity has allowed me to make sure that I do it the right way. Yeah so using the Indigenous research methodologies and sort of fighting the expectation that medicine or people in medicine working as doctors will do research a certain way because there's been physicians here that have shown that you don't have to do that and you can do it our way which is really important. I just feel like there's so much great things happening and it's I'm going to keep it all in mind um, and then figure out what I want to do a bit later on. I came to this I felt like I had a lot of motivation in terms of and direction in terms of where I'm going and I feel like this has just helped to clarify that even more and just made me even more motivated and kind of passionate about what I want to do like throughout my studies and once I'm finished. Coming here sort of opens my eyes a bit more to research and the importance of taking it away but also the fact that um, race and racism is intertwined with the, um, a lot of the motivations why people are doing research to change these views and how um, having conversations in Australia about race um, as we move forward as a nation will hopefully flip the social determinants on their head, hopefully.